guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes one and two of Monthly Girls Nozaki Kun. This has been something that I personally have been wanting to watch for the longest time. There have been a lot of shows that I've done in the past between my first and my second channel, between this one and my first one, um, that I have been able to watch, and then there have been times because not only through Patreon requests and requests for either seasonal or non-seasonal shows, I never really always had the time to do a show that I really personally wanted to do. And this has been on my list for the longest time, to the point where there are some people who still remember that, like, oh, she's going to watch it, but I just don't know when. And so I sometimes will constantly get reminded because when it's just one person and you have so many things in your mind, you're doing so many different animes and you honestly really forget and someone just reminds you, and you're just like, oh shit, yeah, I'm supposed to watch the show. But finally, I'm able to watch this, and I'm really excited. I think this is going to be really good, and I can't wait to see it. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one. And three, two, one, go. She seems like she's gonna be a Cinderella. Right? I'm not like 100% sure, but. Oh, you're a manga artist, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, Nozaki. Uh, that's nice, but I, <laughs> I, I really don't think she wanted that. And you got rejected. You don't understand what she means by that? Oh my god, she's so cute! Oh my god! No, you're not going to. You know who she kind of reminds me of? Um, and this was one of my other, like if I had a list of animes that I reacted to that were my favorite, I don't know where I would put it, but it's the blonde girl from Gamers who was in love with the blue hair kid from Gamers. That's her. But like way cuter. And with red boots. Why are you showing me another pretty one? Why? What is this? What is this? You're showing me too much men. I, I I mean I love it. Like, oh, I need more men for my harem, but like <sighs> you can't have too much. <laughs> I've heard this so <laughs> Yes, oh my god. Popping Party and Girls Band Party covered this fucking song. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. That is hilarious. I cannot believe that.
Okay, this is a typical apartment building. Sakura, I don't think so. It's okay, you know, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. You got him right where you want him. Just tell him truly. Don't fuck up. Tell him how you really feel. Excuse me? Uh, I know. I kind of figured that out in like the first few minutes. You walked into the dream station. It was so cute. Mmm. Yeah, man. The name of the his the Arthur name, right? Yep, yeah, give it up. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hi, hi. <laughs> Jesus. Excuse me, how can someone like him write something beautiful like this? I have so many questions. Oh my god, look at her. <laughs> you know who else she reminds me of? She reminds me of freaking Reptalia with her and Alphamy. And anytime when Alphamy will fucking speak, this girl would be head over heels and just in love. She's a young girl and she just loves love. Like, oh my god, so cute. Yeah, I, I think so, too, because... Mm. Uh, oh, so like a stalker? Hmm. Let's wash our hands. Curling. Ain't that funny that that pops up? Hmm. With the predicament we're all currently in in the world today. Oh. 
Holy shit, are you okay? Oh my god. Yeah, this is in May, it's summer. That right there just gives me feels the Kaguya Summer season one and how much I love the bike situation between those two. Oh my god. But then what if it was raining? <laughs> That's so mean. No. And plus she's wearing a skirt. He's not gonna do it like he was like around the freaking logo, is she? It's a prototype, right? No, 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 Zaki. No, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. This is not romantic. She probably feels guilty and stupid. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Nothing about this is romantic. Hey, you gotta make it romantic somehow. No. If you if it was just one seat on that bike and then plus that extra part, the girl, it'd be everything. It should be around your waist and then she lays on you. Ah, I can't. I just love romance so much.
if it was just a one seat bicycle then Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> can you pull him Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, you, Billy. If you don't get this. I like how she just like puts it on Uh -uh. Huh? Is that a kitty? Oh, Nozaki, are you gonna save the kitty? Oh, oh, damn. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, you gonna put him back? 
That's so cute. Oh. <laughs> no. Go on, you got this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You got this. <laughs> huh. <laughs> that yay, oh my god. That is like the saddest yay I have ever heard besides like fucking Fluttershy and little My Little Pony. It's okay, maybe next time. Okay. This is fucking adorable. Like, oh my god. She kind of also reminds me of um She reminds me of a lot of characters. I can't think of the one that I'm thinking of right now, but I love her so much like chill oh my god chi 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 my chi like oh my god she's so fucking cute i got nothing else to say about it but this is everything that i really wanted it's just so cute and good and wholesome and sweet and adorable. no i now remember okay 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 i know who she reminds me of and this is another show i reacted to and i really really love this show it's one of my like top top favorite shows that not only that i like reacted to but still one of my favorites she reminds me of i think it's shamiko not shamiko no 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 um what is her name 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 because my husband oh, my favorite my other favorite voice actress in this show um place to place what's her face her and how and she likes eel and eel is fucking hot as hell like oh my god that is her in a nutshell like oh my god she's so fucking precious like i can't she's so fucking cute like oh my god i gotta root for this girl i really want her to just be happy she deserves it she's so precious That's fine, but who is he? Meat cuttings. Hmm? The rest. Oh, 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 oh. Why are you doing this? Oh my god. Hello. <laughs> I'm kind of also getting, um, oh my god, what was that damn show? Um, I also reacted to it as well. Oh my fucking god. It's the anime where it's four adult otakus and they all live, no, not all live, well they all live in the same town. 
and um, pfft, they all work in the same place. I just don't remember that name. And I was loving, I loved the shit out of it, especially when I reacted to it. Because at the time, like, I would say a couple of months after the show ended, um, my boyfriend at the time and I, we were, I was trying to watch it with him. I was like, I need you to really watch it. The show is so fucking good. But he, like, every single time, we, we, like, lasted, like, like one episode. And, because we were just, like, doing other things. And we had other things on our mind and shit like that. I mean, but we were also still sitting there watching fucking Seven Deadly Sins. It was my second time and his first time. But nah, this is really good. It's just, oh, I, like, I can't with her. Nozaki, like, I love you, but you, oh my god, he is a big old airhead. Like, he just does not know that this girl is in love with him. I mean, it's so fucking obvious. Like, you can't tell. I mean, are you fucking good? But this is literally almost any anime protagonist I've seen in a rom-com series where he doesn't know until, like, season two or whatever you know, oh shit, like, she's in love with me. I mean, School Rumble, Place to Place, even though Place to Place really didn't do that with them. Um, and any other show that I've seen that has, like, that atmosphere with the two main leads, and like, oh yeah, they're still gonna get together, but one of them is really not that sure, and sometimes it is the girl as well. The girl doesn't really know until, like, somewhat it's too late, but the next, you know, another season comes along, and then it's like, okay, like, she finally knows, and he's like, broke it up with his girlfriend, and they can finally be together, and then something happens and stuff. But this is really good. This kind of also reminds me of, um, Comic Girls. So, like, if Place to Place and Comic Girls had, like, a baby together, this would be it. Because I do like the fact is this is a group of teens all together making, um, Nozaki's, uh, manga every single week so that, you know, he can have it out by the monthly time the monthly magazine comes out and it's a really interesting thing i mean the fact is that this dude has no like background on like being in a relationship and stuff and then you're looking at him like how the hell do you know your shit like you sit here and wonder and just be like how like hello like you've never had a girlfriend you've never been on a date or anything so how can you know all of this the ins and the outs of being in a relationship and stuff i mean yeah if you watch anime or um any type of romantic tv show or whatever reality or just like um non-reality tv show to know the ins and the outs but it's just almost like a feeling but yeah go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode two all right, episode two and three, two, one, go. Can I just say he's giving me like Ryuji vibes from B5 if Ryuji was not what he truly was? Like, way, way, way before, you know, Joker came in and ish. Mm. Mm. That show, Fangirls, too. Oh, he's not scary. He's just fine as hell. Like, why'd you do that? <laughs> oh. Oh my God, are you okay? <laughs> I'm so thirsty. I should have got more water before I recorded this episode, but that's okay. I'll get it before I take a shower.
He's just so cute. Oh my god. So now after hearing this, I don't know which one I like the cover. I mean, <laughs> like better. The cover or the original song. Like it, it's so weird when you hear the original and then you listen to a cover and you're just like, I don't know how to feel right now. Like go listen to that cover by Popping Party. It's really good. So Yeah. Are you okay? Oh. Hmm? Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Ah. Mm. Oh, I thought you were gonna make food. I should not be hungry at almost two o'clock in the morning. Yes, Nico. Mm -hmm. He's still fine, though. Like, oh. Seriously? What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, at least all three of you are the same. Yeah, I'm not really good at drawing and building either. Well... Why don't you just show us a specialty? Okay. 
Oh, hello, gorgeous. I like it a lot. <laughs> well, at least we both can agree on that. It's just so cute. Oh my god. Just give me the boys and men in my home, please. Uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh. The fact that he gets embarrassed by what he says, I love that about him. <laughs> mm -hmm. She does not like that. Just be sure to, I don't like that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Whoever voices the heroine <laughs> and the hero, oh my god, like, yes. Something wrong? Hmm. I mean, even though it's a fucking drawing, that it, I can't. Like, oh, yeah, they all look the same. Oh my god! <laughs> mm, you maybe? Oh, the girl who's into basketball. Okay. Yeah, the girl and her harm. So, who is chasing you two? Okay, um, a teacher, two teachers, that's it. You can just jump over that girl. See? Well...
Were you possibly late, Yuzu? Yeah. Did you figure it out already? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, it's a free bag! Yuzu, there's no iron team! No iron team! Huh. But Yuzu! <laughs> Yuzuki is giving me major fails of Takashi from IGPX. Like, ooh. Mm, she sure is. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you so No, 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 no. Really? 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 What the fuck? I feel like I'm watching a new Haka show for a minute. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, shit. Girl, you ain't coming back. He's a crap.
Please. Good question. Maybe she went home. Oh my god, is she in the glee club? She's in the glee club. Oh my god. <laughs> This ain't mostly girls in the fucking This is Glee. This is Rachel Berry. Oh my god, girl. It's beautiful. Oh my god. It's gonna make me want to tear up and cry. Probably gonna be in the shower thinking about this and like start crying in the shower. Right? Mm. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> this is so adorable. Oh my god. Okay, so you Zuki. She's cute too. Oh my god, but you would think that someone who feels a little rough around the edges, a little tough, but she is, you wouldn't assume that someone like her likes to sing. Like, I wasn't expecting her to be in the Glee Club. I'm thinking this girl was a full-on tomboy and just the type who was going to be in, like, any sports that she could. I mean, it would have been interesting. I mean, even though, really, I don't think in Japan they have football, football, regular football. Um... I've known a girl uh, who I was on the basketball team for when I was in elementary school. She and I went to the same middle school, and she eventually was on the football team. I think it was both our first and second years of being in middle school together. But, I mean, she's interesting. Yuzuki is, like, a, a really adorable thing. I love her. She's very tough, and she's different from Sakura. Sakura is very gentle and sweet and caring and might have to be my best girl. I mean, honestly, I thought Sakura was going to be this Cinderay type chick. I literally kept thinking to myself, she is going to be like fucking Rin from um, Fate and then the other girl from Neon Genesis Evangelion that I don't remember her name. Um, but I think a lot of people probably know who the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> mm hmm. 
Uh-huh. I love it. Let's be good at that shell. My god, he is so cute. I love him so much. <laughs> Oh, he's so. Mm. This is like fucking. My next life is a villain. <laughs> All these hot guys and one girl. And it's just like, ooh, here's a man, here's a man, here's a man, here's a man. All right, you gotta pick one. And you're just like, excuse me? How can I narrow it down to one? One. One fucking man. Do you know how hard that is? Imagine being the bachelorette. Or even the fucking bachelor. Even though nobody gives a crap about the bachelor. It's more about the bachelorette and the female going into the journey. Because you just want to see who she picks as a man. And ish. But like, oh my god. Like, literally. It's like how um, a couple of years ago when Mystic Me Messenger was hot as fuck at, at the time. And you're looking at the characters and you're like, oh, ho, 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 like, who the fuck do I want to be with? I particularly was a Zen girl and I still am. So if I ever wanted to do a fucking anime or like a sequel, I, I would literally be down because Zen is like husbando material, like right there, like, ooh. But I mean, yeah, <laughs> me cutting. I love him so much, and his voice sounds really familiar to me. I just cannot put on, um, put it on top of my tongue, like, who the frick he is. But I love him. I love the fact that he'll say something really serene and amazing and adorable, but then he's so embarrassed by it. And the fact that, like, because of the way he is, like, that's how I was inspired by the... <laughs> The heroine of this series of the manga for <laughs> Nozaki Kun and stuff. I think it's really interesting. But now seeing these next characters that are gonna come into this um these next two episodes, like the guy with the blue hair, he ooh, that's gonna be another man that's gonna go into my harm officially next Friday. I mean, I I'm already ready for it. I'm ready to just meet this new boy and just know everything about him because he is fine. I mean, that that's the best way if you ever truly wanna know how to give me an anime if the anime has a really nice protagonist a male protagonist like i'm just saying and he's hot as hell if he is the guy that if it's a guy that i am going to fucking thirst over for like if, if it's 12 episodes for six constant weeks or like 11 weeks about to be 10 weeks by next thursday um just give it to me, and I will fucking watch the shit out of it, because I, I really need more guys in my life, because, I mean, we're in a quarantine, and I, I'm just thirsty, and I need something right now, like, oh my god, like, I just need a lot of guys in my life right now, so I, I could just have more than, I, I have over, like, I don't know how many men that I have in my room, but it's just a lot, it's a lot of men, and I'm okay with that, but literally, these two episodes were so 
freaking cute. I love this cast. I love this story. I love the opening and ending and just everything about it. But it was just really, really good. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes one and two of Monthly Girls and Ozaki Kun. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episodes three and four. Bye, guys.